<coughs> okay, namaste and uh, good morning everyone. Uh, thank you so much for adhering to the new time. Um, I think uh, it will work out for everyone for the better. And uh, I mean, I think we did the poll and a lot of us uh, wanted to do the 11 o'clock. That's why we switched it to that. So I think the first time when it happens, and obviously there is a little bit of... Uh, is there some echo happening? Okay, I'll, I'll mute. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, I think we are uh, really getting ahead with uh, all our uh, workshops and uh, Vinayakji as our guru has been so good in teaching us uh, and in showing us the path of how to learn uh, right from the very beginning because uh, as much as I did not have so much of time, but I did see the the step-by-step uh, things that you were sending and uh, making it simple for all of us to kind of uh, go through our journey of practice. So thank you so much for Vinay Ji for uh, uh, always, uh, you know, teaching us, for being our guru, for uh, uh, showing us the, this path. And um, again, uh, we are into a beautiful day today. Who knew that in September we would be enjoying this beautiful weekend, beautiful weather, and what a wonderful way to start Sunday. And then uh, with the, the mindful music, and that I think today is gentle breathing and exercise, uh, breathing exercises is what we are teaching. Listening, how to mindfully oh, listen. How, listening mindfully, sorry. Yeah, so listening mindfully is the one which we are doing today. So I'll hand it over to you and uh, thank you again to each and every one of you for joining us. And uh, I'm looking forward to get connected with us more as we go along our workshops. Thank you so much, Anuji. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. And yes, uh, Namaste Sutapaji, Anandji just joined. Uh, we will uh, start today's, as Anuji rightly said, listening. Uh, ways of listening, we all know. We listen, we just listen, we just hear. We actively listen, passively listen, driving, uh, cooking, even I did while gardening too. <laughs> I mean, uh, lawnmower was uh, supposed to be a little quiet. Uh, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, there are uh, ways of listening, uh, but. Um, mindfully listening. That's what we are uh, more interested in this session. Uh, we will uh, go through the in comparison with like what best way we can, uh, you know, adopt it, and then uh, how without judging we need to immerse ourselves into the music, and that's what uh, we need to. Uh, go through. Um. Mm. Just let's go through some definitions and some 
readily available definitions what we see and what we need to effectively adapt some of them so let's you all know i don't need to uh, tell on this but just as a brushing up of our memories like so in these three approaches of as i mentioned active passive and mindful listening uh, in hindustani music any of in that kind in that sense like any any indian music so i would broadly categorize into indian music for some time so that uh, world music is different than our indian music but in this case uh, we uh, our genre is uh, has got um real um, effective ways of you know adapting it so um so each approach offers different level of engagement and understanding of the music so passive listening definition yes it, i got it from this uh, internet so i need to uh, agree with this so <laughs> so i thought let me yeah put it that way so passive listening is when you casually listen to music without actively focusing on it you may have hindustani music playing in the background while doing other tasks or simply enjoying it without analyzing or engaging deeply with it we don't en- analyze or you know engage with it so purpose is this type of listening is more for relaxation and background ambience even in hotels even in we we have the background music going on there it's and sometimes restaurants we go music is there so it's a passive listening we still eat and chat mm, this can enhance your mood and create a pleasant atmosphere but doesn't involve critical analysis or deeper understanding of the music it's just about having relaxing or you know knowingly or unknowingly it's pleasant in the back of the mind so that's for that so the active listening is paying full attention to the music you actively engage with the music often by sitting or lying down closing your eyes concentrating solely on the music and if now in my background i have put the tanpur on you all are passively listening to it you are listening to my speech but in the back of your mind my shruti or su is on my tanpur is on so if we divert from our speech to the tanpura now we need to identify which sur we are on so sa that's where it starts from when we start the tanpura or the sur or the shruti on sa that's where it starts so then the entire scale or the saptak unfolds from there it depends on which song you adopt jay ganesh jay ganesh jay ganesh deva sa from there ik sur chara char chhayo ik sur chara char chhayo so the bhajan it may be a surdas bhajan or any any other bhajan but the listening is again actively listening is nothing but we doing start doing things with it so it is not just listening but we start doing it we at times are critical we at times are like 
judgmental, of course, yeah. This was not the right store. Okay, we need to raise it. Okay, we actively start doing something with it. Active. So, we got engaged. So, purpose of this is to appreciate nuances of music. Yeah, how you know best we can adapt or we can enjoy. We are at times no, we cannot enjoy. Even that is there. So. including the rag or the tal just i said like yeah it all unfolds from there so uh, rhythm improvisations so we can improvise based on the composition what we have in the original one so it could have been more appealing to me or the artist who is presenting is more appealing to me than the another artist we start comparing to yeah the improvisations are again based on what we have in our con- in, you know in, uh, conception in our mind so this is what is that originally we have listen or we expect there is an expectation set so improvisation is based on that so some reference or the benchmark so emotions conveyed with the artist every individual is different so these are all the aspects we actively get engaged active listening allows you to connect more deeply with the music enhancing your understanding and emotional experience um there are again many exercises carried out in the western part of the world as well as our indian um, music as well in start in uh, uh, ramaya college in bangalore so they have carried out some experiments on patients as well as on some age group too to know how active listening has changed their blood pressure i mean uh, there are some experimental uh, which has resulted in some positive um, you know uh, results too like yes the active listening Uh, of um, um, uh, this one has given this result I, i mean i wouldn't go to much detail on that but yes there are positive results on everything with the one who gets engaged with the music now comes a mindful music it takes active listening a step further by incorporating principles of mindfulness it involves being fully present in the moment without judgment or distraction so it has certain i mean uh it is kind of like disconnecting uh, other things and then focusing it on this and then mm, non judgmental non judgmental it's you focus on your attention on the music and observe your thoughts and feelings as they arise purpose so mindful listening not only helps you appreciate the music but also promotes a deeper sense of connection with your inner self it's moreover like connecting to the soul what we call sometimes it it touches the soul what we say uh, with a much uh, you know uh, deeper thought to it but i mean we feel it we feel it um it can be meditative spiritually in the enriching experience allowing you to explore your emotions and thoughts while immersing yourself in the music we in mindful music we tend to you know get carried out with emotions too there is a path there are you know small trails there uh they lead us to a uh, different path too but yeah again we need to reroute and join the path main path of like what we are there i mean that's uh we need to join the uh, mindful listening i mean no judgmental no distraction so in the context of hindustani music this listening approaches can offer 
varying levels of engagement and understanding. Beginners may start with passive listening. That's what I like this part. Uh, yes, passive listening, as I said, yes, engage with it. Just, I mean, not, not, um, not engage with it, but start with it, but start somewhere. So passive listening, uh, feel the music. While more experienced listeners may actively engage with the music, some start doing too. And if it is an instrumental, some start picking up some it's vocal, like yeah, start learning. Sargam, Palta, Alankar, do that too. So engage with it. Uh, mindful listening, on the other hand, can be profound experience for those seeking deeper connection between the music and their inner selves as it encourages the introspection and emotional exploration it again it varies from person to person the experience is entirely different um, some songs may work some ragas may work for some people very well for example my favorite could be a bhupali or a durga or sare ma pa da mare mare da sa re pa da ma pa da some gets attracted to the raga with a uh, devotional lyrics on it some with attract to the raga with ghazal some with attract some gets attracted like raga with a uh, poetry it's uh, different it's all different i mean devi bhajo durga bhavani devi bhajo durga bhavani bhavani so the melody and the emotion with it it can be either karuna bhakti all the navaras we call in our indian context navaras so mindful listening is getting attached with those you know softer rasas of our oneself i mean we at times you know feel good softly even the remove those rasa to it should be transparent transparent rasa of of any any without any any color in it i mean it should be a transparent so that's the pure mindful listening is that i mean slowly even the softer rasas should be off even the karuna should be off or the ferocious should be off any any rasa in it should be off i mean it should it should be like for that even the tanpura i at times wake up early morning 4 o'clock and put my tanpura i just listen to the tanpura for 15 minutes it's the same tanpura i i just listen to this tanpura it feels beautiful for me early morning the string tanpura of four strings plucking sound and then peaceful there is no lyrics there is no other emotions no other word into it it is totally everything is i mean just the sound sa 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 pa sa 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 pa sa 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 these four things 
And if you experience this in the morning, it's like, that's a beautiful feeling. So these are all, I mean, uh, ways to ex explore the, you know, uh, alongside the musical appreciation. Yes. Uh, appreciation comes after feeling it's not along the way it's 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 along the journey is like we just feel it appreciation may it's in a um, conscious uh, it, it's a conscious decision after our feeling so appreciation comes after so the journey is to feel without any judgment Okay, I would, uh, before I st start this, I would need an all uh, one volunteer of anybody uh, here. Mm. Anyone who can repeat after me? Anybody? I'm not able to see everyone on my screen. I have to scroll up and down. So if you uh, can unmute and speak also is fine. Re Voices, yes. Sa Listen to your own self. Second thing, when you sing the soul song, you just peacefully sit in a corner or a comfortable position. De detach yourself from all other, you know, uh, activities. So, and then step by step, we can start listening mindfully. So I will go through one by one here. Okay, create and calm, create a calm environment. Find a quiet, comfortable space where you can focus your attention solely on the music. A comfortable position, comfortable place. Just sit straight, keep your spine straight, and. Turn off all the distractions as phones, TV, and other electronic devices. Just second is deep breathing. Like other day, I was mentioning about deep breathing from the stomach. the um meditation how to do deep deeper breathing with a uh, meditation like only singing uh, and empty our stomach till we breathe out exhaling that so in similar way deeper but just the listening of the tantra now
could everybody hear the tantra clearly right yes so with that i mean just to take the sound inside and then be with the sound just to be with the sound and then our deeper breathing so it is to relax ourselves slowly can listen you can listen to the deeper listening is like you can feel the vibration of the strings too like there are four strings the strings are creating the sound through their vibrations but those vibrations if you feel imagine two strings vibrating and the third vibration is out of those two vibrations of strings it's like on a calm lake you throw two stones on different places and those waves create and then hit each other and then create another third wave it's something like that so the vibration of the sound of two sounds are creating another subtle very subtle very subtle sound and it's waving in and out if you listen carefully that subtle wave is wave going in and out it's just a sound so in this exercise i wanted to just demonstrate how deeply we can go with the sound of a tanpura and just listen to it without any judgment and you know gain peace in it so it's to calm ourselves achieve that peaceful listening out of it even that is a great experience for the listener just listening to the tantra the step ahead is like you choose a recording suppose it could be a bhajan it could be an instrumental a morning raga like bhatiya lalat bhairav ahir bhaya ramkali these ones if you hear or listen i would cautiously put the listen mind listening here so if you listen to these ones so they create a peaceful calmness in the morning and with komal swaras like
राज कुंवर नंद के दुलारे 
the bandish goes on further of course i just stop there just to make you feel how the early morning listening to a calm music will make you feel like it's the beautiful bayra in the morning or an afternoon early afternoon like bhim palas or multani uh no or the noon ragas we are almost approaching the noon now so it's noon ragas like sarang so how it's going to feel like sarang in the noon sarang raga is the noon So from morning to now we are switching to noon raga how it's going to be is a sara it's very pleasant at the same time it is kind of charging our cells we feel that i mean it's it's kind of like it is not very soft at the same time it is not that soft but in mindful listening 
this aspect aspect we need to i mean enjoy certain things at certain timings it it's certainly going to, going to help our listening it's going to certainly uh, uh, you know n- make a positive impact on our mm, uh, calmness for sure our uh, well being for sure whatever the aspect we are in the thought process or in the actions we intend to but it's going to enable our thoughts or the actions for a positive reason so uh, picking up those timings and the ragas and their intended you know uh, uh, performing results are i mean we have to um, enjoy that process this raga is meant for i mean uh, certain uh, it's rejuvenating our you know mind and then energy so some are uh, calming down some are <laughs> they have their uh, different uh, uh, you know uh, actions on us so i just wanted to demonstrate a few lines of a couple of ragas to you so in that process so next is like choose a recording whatever is your whoever is your uh, favorite artist whether it's an instrumental it's a vocal choose a santur flute sarod sitar dilruba esraj violin veena for that even a percussion why not percussion even the percussion have got their own uh, emotions i have mentioned in my previous sessions too like if i say that da din din da da din din da da tin tin ta ti ta din din da cycle time of 15, 16 beats in in that if you add da din 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 da gi da din 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 da gi da tin 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 ta gi ta gi tr ka din 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 da gi da it is lively at the same time it is the is the rhythms are actually they are power packed whether it is slow vilambit or it is a drut faster tempo they always have the listeners to go forward go forward go forward it's like conductor in the bus aage chalo aage chalo this is i mean they always lead us because they put a momentum into the uh, our you know listening so you can choose to listen to a, a percussion it's a, in the mindful listening too focus on melody while i was demonstrating i was singing yes one is i ye dukh sahana 
of melodic phrases this one i was trying to demonstrate here note bends gamakas or gamakas are ornamentations and give music its distinct character ah for pronouncing those swaras yeah they sound like this but when you blend them blend them casual slow ah uh, mindful listening then follow the rhythmic cycle so i will
जयति जननी मंगली जयति जननी मंगली जयति जननी मंगली विद्या I just introduced here a seven beat cycle of Rupak Tam. Ti ti na, din din na na, din din na na, ti ti na, din din na na, din din na na, jaya ti janani mangale. Right? That's a following it. Listen the aspect of Tala. So it is. giving a momentum to the listening re mindfully listening to it so feel the emotion hindustani music often conveys deep emotions on and moods allow yourself to connect with emotional content of the performance whether it's joy sorrow contemplation immerse yourself let go of any preconceptions and immerse yourself in the music imagine the imageries and stories that music might be portraying it's just the mu- music so it's your imagination that like i said you might take a side trail sometimes and then join back to the main <laughs> road it's 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 your path i mean it's your path of enjoying so it's a uh, yeah you can do that too 
and avoid judgment i have uh, reiterated uh, i mean uh, to a couple of sentences like yeah mindful listening is about experiencing the music without any judgment just listen to it. just listen to it. try not to analyze and critic the performance while listening instead let the music wash over you that's uh, <laughs> just uh, ride the wave that's what i would uh, feel that reflect afterwards after the piece of concludes like uh, yeah take a moment to reflect on your experience what did you enjoy about the music how did it make you feel what elements stood out to you explore further if you are inspired dwell deeper into hindustani music learning about different ragas listening to different artists listening to different artists of course different instruments different vocalists they surely and different timings it suddenly makes an impact i mean it of live performance if possible if seniors can yeah attend the concerts of course there is one today i think um, asha ji have uh, brought it to me last night said that this one in vedanta society in classical music and then of course music and concert is being arranged there to live why not live performance so i think it's in vedanta society today today this evening um, so yeah mm, i'm sure many places are organizing the music so like, yeah this is what i just wanted to share with you all so so far any a a any question to me any suggestion to me any advice to me i'm all open and welcome asha um, ji i want to ask you you know yaad hai kisi kya hai the one you sang few minutes ji. ago based on which rag it's based on bin sarj sagam dani sare dam ga dani sagam there are few ragas closer to that one is hemant one is uh, um, kaushik ranjani and bin sharj they are all very very close closely associated so in uh, in ghazal or in lighter classical so it again takes a you know थोड़ा सा मिलावट करने की मतलब थोड़ा सा मीन विथ टेक ए मेलोडिक पाथ विथ टेक ए मेलोडिक पाथ विच अपील्स टू आई मीन टू द कंपोजिशन बहुत मधुर मधुर राग है बहुत मधुर बहुत ही मधुर बहुत ही मधुर जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल इट्स एन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल राग I really felt that uh, today's music was very therapeutic. Totally therapeutic music today. Today's session is therapeutic. I'm telling you, we had a real medical therapy. Music therapy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> in fact, 20 years ago, I started the uh, back in Kuwait. There was no Karnataka uh, classical music in Kuwait uh, after the war. So I started a small listeners group because I have a. More than about 200, 300 albums of all classical music uh, recording. Wow. In fact, I used to give my CDs to start a music in all in the Kuwait radio session. Wow. One man from Kashmir. He used to monitor those Wednesday night, 10 to 11. So that created a whole group of classical music lovers, music <laughs> associations. I started an association of those Prasadana, and I used to organize classical music program for the Indian embassy. Yeah, so man. I feel the listeners are very, very important. In fact, the ambassador Prabhu Dayalji used to tell me, "Krishna Murthy, don't they know you classical music? There will be hardly about fifty people." Uh, he used to tell, <laughs> but I took it. The whole auditorium must be full. Only thing is, I have to make the program free. But he said, "Your auditorium is free for you. You can do anything." So I used to organize. 
the Pandit Jasaraj, all top class musicians used to come and perform, but it was music for everyone. Right. Nobody need to pay anything. That is, then they came by itself. You know, sponsors were so many, but no advertisement. No advertisement, please, I say. So only music wow. and no khana. Well, the listeners are very... <laughs> Sirf khana. Music. Sirf khana, no khana. Khana. <laughs> गाना और खान खान खाना नहीं है बहुत अच्छा बहुत अच्छा था आज टुडे आई आई एम फीलिंग लाइक आई एम फ्लोटिंग इन द क्लाउड पर्टिकुलरली यू नो इट्स यू फील अर्ली मॉर्निंग इट वाज वेरी वेरी थेरेपेटिक थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल फॉर अटेंडिंग वंडरफुल एवरी वीक आई आई एम गेटिंग आई मीन I get to see you all, talk to you. I mean, share a little bit of music, whatever I have with me, and it's a wonderful experience for me. I mean, it's a, a great experience to have uh, you all. Uh, uh, I think Pratham will put the uh, YouTube, uh, not the YouTube, the the link up by the evening. Yeah. So, uh, any one of you want to listen again, you can uh, always do that. G G that will be great thank you pratham yeah thank you all, all right. so all right thank you we have a wonderful next, next week next week again at 11 o'clock sunday sunday 11 o'clock g thank you. thank you thank you thank you, you so very much thank great. you so much you have a wonderful week in weekend week ahead see you next week thank you pratham can you be there for a second Yeah, we'll When I give just leave Pratham for a second over there I just wanted to check something with him. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Pratham are you there? So we just uh, wrap it up with the, that. So Pratham, can you hear me? We'll give a couple of minutes for everybody to exit so that yeah. we'll Pratham can you hear me Hello Pratham Who's uh, Ontario Homeopathic Medical Association somebody is there too. okay A couple of people are there but yeah okay Pratham uh, if you are there we can He's there I'm trying to probably he's away on the desk okay I'm just texting him we are trying to talk oh, Okay to okay yeah sure Anuji Yeah I mean uh, wonderful I mean uh, it's uh... I think this today's session uh, Vinay ji was so good it was really it was very very therapeutic thank and, you and uh, you know it just calms you down and you can even get an appreciation of the different nuances of music even for a lay person like me so I'm sure the other people must be really Yeah, uh, that's that's um, all about like yeah the credit is to the music and those gurus who have you know imparted their knowledge to us that's yeah the music itself is our music it, is something different it, it, our music is divine it is really it's divine divine this is true very true it's yeah. yeah we have so much in it Yeah, I mean, I mean, thank you for this opportunity to share whatever little I can. No, no, no. It has been wonderful. I hope I'm able to do this. I'm thinking if it works out, we should be able to do it every year for twelve weeks. It doesn't matter. Yeah, sure. And if we are able to do something like that, and it is such a service to the community and even for like it everybody. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. I mean. Um, uh, everyone is uh, for like yeah um, they feel good about it that's all i it, yes. it matters yeah. they feel good about it i mean yeah. yeah and this one hour time that you spend 
it is all like the peace with yourself yeah yeah so it is really i mean that is basically what we want we want to be mentally uh, healthy feel good so yeah. all this is happening with the music then you know there is uh, I won't take too much of your time. I think Pratham. I don't know. He maybe he's not in the room or something. Oh, okay. 